in the high up. in like a week. So good to be back. I have like mostly meetings and like things like that to catch up on, like real business stuff to do this morning. But one of my favorite people, who I haven't seen in a really long time, is in town. I'm gonna see him this afternoon. First meeting of the day is in Midtown. Not a huge fan of Midtown, but when I do come up here, I like to go through Times Square. I'm awesome, how you doing? Because I like to see the people and Times Square is kind of amazing. Look at this place. Is that a remote control skateboard? Yeah, man. Oh, you just think you're the coolest guy ever now, don't you? Not standing next to you, I don't. Stop it, you're making me <laughs> blush. It's three in the afternoon now. I just finished a one hour long phone call and then a three hour long meeting. I'm gonna go home because I left all my stuff there and then go to the office. Midtown. Wow, look up, look up, look up. What are you doing, man? Fucking stop sign. Almost just got hit by a car by a guy who was literally smoking a blunt behind the wheel. He goes through a red light, I had to jam my brakes, jump off the board, I look up at him, he's smoking a blunt and goes like this, like, go ahead, sweetheart. You almost killed me. I got nothing against smoking blunts, but if you're gonna do it, don't run over people on skateboards. Dude. It's like 5 p.m., I still haven't gone to the office yet. I'm trying to get out of here, I just like, sit down at my computer and start working and there's so much work to be done and I like it at home, there's nobody here bothering me. I, I gotta go to work. This isn't, uh, this, uh, this isn't mail time. This is just stuff that I ordered. Um, I kind of want to apologize to the kid outside that, I want to apologize to him because I'm sure he thinks that I was being rude. And maybe I kind of was, but it's like, there's nothing I love more than meeting people who like want to say hi to me because they like my YouTube channel. That honestly is like my favorite thing, but I hate when people show up outside my office. This is where I work, I'm always so busy, I'm running in and out of this place, like I, my time here is very narrow, and it's very stressful for me, like when I'm running out of my office and there's like 10 people like, hey, can we get a picture? I was just outside like having a really intense business conversation with Matt, my business partner, and we're like tucked in the corner, like having a conversation like intensely, and somebody came up and was like, Casey, 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 and I was just like, excuse me, I'm having a conversation. And I could tell that he was really upset by me saying that. So I'm sorry, like I didn't mean to upset you. I also didn't mean to like be rude or anything. I'm generally not that rude of a human being. <laughs> Listen to how appropriate. All right, I didn't order this. Somebody sent this to me. Here's a gift receipt. There, doesn't say who it's from. It just says gift receipt. But check out the name of this book. <laughs> Release your anger. Maybe instead of telling that kid outside to not interrupt me, maybe I should have just come up here and colored. Thank you whoever sent this to me. Also, I know I said this wasn't mail time, but maybe this is mail time. Disguised as packages for things that I thought I ordered. Oh my God. <gasps> I did order this. Okay, what this is, is this is like the tiniest drone you can buy. Look, this is a drone that fits in your pocket and it has a camera on it. Ah, this is perfect. So I just lost my drone yesterday. This is very exciting. Today's episode of Casey Neistat's vlog is a review of this tiny itty bitty drone. These instructions are insane. Look at all of that. All right, typically I try to provide comprehensive reviews of new technology. This is going to be whatever the opposite of comprehensive. <laughs> this is going to be. Ooh, special visitor. Remember how I was saying my like favorite person in the world's in town? 
Bonsoir, Emily! Hey! Oh! Bonjour! Bonjour. This is my homie Jerome. Hello. I was just saying last people. week that everybody says I'm short, and I'm like not that short. I just have really tall friends. Jerome's six foot nine. No, six two. Six is very tall, very small. Yeah, that's not what I. <laughs> I ordered this tiny foldable pocket oh drone. My God. And then last night I lost my drone. This is the drone here now. I charged the battery. I downloaded the app. This is what it looks like. In your, in Dude. your, uh, in your uh, back door. He's just, <laughs> he's just messing with us. That was my old, my old broken drone. <laughs> oh, look it. This, this powered up. Switch networks back. Yeah. All right, it's been about 40 minutes later, but I did get this thing to work. All right, I'm gonna take off drone. You ready? Okay. All right, this is the tiny hand drone taking off. What the hell did I just do? Okay, false alarm, once again. I have to do some key to drones is not the hardware. It's not what this thing physically looks like. What matters is the software. Like what powers it, what controls it. So when you're counting on software to operate this like flying camera, there's like so many variables and you need to be able to count on the software. And like I invite my friend over and I just make him sit there and watch me not fly my drone. It literally says right now, pat your drone gently. Can you pat it? Okay, whoa, 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 here we go. It's gonna fly. Indoor flying. Ah, Ah, we got it! Yes! Okay! The little guy's airborne, but there are no controls on the screen. Look it, there it is. All right, I'm gonna roll some video on this thing. Can you get it in outside? Okay, I figured out how to spin it. Catch it, catch it, catch it! The gift gives you joy. Almost. Okay, but at least it landed safely. Should we take it outside? Yeah, absolutely. Wait, let me just read the manual first. Okay. Okay, I take back most of the bad stuff that I said about this drone. That was pretty fun. Okay, forward tilt. Zero tech, zero problems. Left tilt. But how do you make it go up and down? Um, because my office is in front of a camera store, there's a light in the window which makes us look professionally lit. Uh, resetting the drone, it did not work. Oh wait, it's going, it's going. There, yeah. it's right here. Girls, what do you think of this tiny flying thing? Is it, does it have a camera in it? Well, sort of, this is what it looks like. Oh, incredible. That is a massive, <laughs> massive overstatement right there. Okay, I'm bringing it back. Wait, it's gone. No, 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 come back. <laughs> oh, God, no, no, no. Uh oh, my God. This is Dolby. This is a very interesting and unimaginable air display of a drone. I did lose a drone, and that's an irresponsible thing to do. It was a toy drone. I probably should not have been flying it outside, even though it said it could fly outside, but even though I was laughing and that was fun, like, kind of stupid. We're having some late night uh, raw vegan food because I'm proud of it. I'm trying to get healthy, man. I remember telling you one day, Casey, you would be vegan. Um, that day is not I know the day. it. I know it. Francine, what happened to the music? Having a dance party. Wow, the cheese smells. Crazy. Is it gold? That's the cheese? I thought she pooped her pants. No, no, no. no. <laughs> You're fancy. No, 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 not Santa Claus. Very good. So the conclusive outcome on this review is uh You're terrible at flying drones. I'm really good at flying drones. Okay. I've gotten so good at it. I just think that I wasn't good at flying that drone. It's true. You think we'll ever see it again? Yes. I think we're gonna get it back. Mr. Positivity I'm very optimistic. over here. 